in conditions. Hopefully they have Quaker State in the trolley that goes to New Orleans, Georgia City. And a great weekend to be here. Glad you can join us. We are set for another bout for you. Four rounds. And these are heavyweights. Marvin Hunt, Kelvin Davis. Kelvin Davis is 21 years of age. Born in Mississippi. Weighed 203 and a half pounds. Now fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. And his professional record is 4-0 with three knockouts. Turned pro in October of this year, so he's been very busy early in his career. And Marvin Hunt is from Jackson, Tennessee. He is 28 years of age, 215 pounds, 5-0 and with two knockouts. He, too, also turned pro this year. March of this year is when he turned pro. Hunt coming off two consecutive knockout wins. I to receive your instructions. Davis has two you what first I round knockouts. Elmo Adolf is our referee once again. Don't forget still to come, Antonio Diaz. A 12 round bout against Terrell Finger. And if you just tuned in, Clarence Bones Adams, a unanimous decision against Aristed Clayton. Clifford Etienne, a first round stoppage of Dan Conway. And in a non televised bout, the son of Leon Spinks, Corey Spinks, a unanimous decision against Sammy Sparkman. And you can see Davis is the one who's going to be pressing this fight. He's going to be bobbing and weaving and trying to create an opening. Trying to catch Hunt standing up. Bring it up, bring it up. Stepping out. But Davis is very wide with his punches there, Bob. And Hunt will get an opportunity, maybe, to punch inside one of those big wide punches. The battle of the unbeatens. Those guys just turning pro this year. One thing Hunt has to be careful of is sometimes he stands a little straight up. And Davis comes out of those weaves with big hooks. Punch out, fellas. And you can catch a guy standing up, like right here. Davis is liable to come out of one of those misses six, six, with a big six, punch six, and catch Hunt six, standing straight up. Hunt has the size advantage, a little bit taller. He's going to want to be able to try to keep Davis on the outside. Catch Davis coming in. Saw Davis in uh, Pensacola. Scored a first round knockout against Joe Johnson. Both these guys turned pro this year and have had all their fights this year. They both have a, they have a mutual opponent, Chico Copeland. They both knocked him out. Hunt knocked him out in two rounds. Davis knocked him out in one round. Time! Let's go. Let's get the mouthpiece set. Get over that corner. And they put the mouthpiece back in the mouth of Davis. Okay, right here, right here, right here. Right here. Come on over here. Wrong corner. It's going to be rinsed off first. Up, okay. You want to be as clean as you can. Right down, right down. Actually, right, it was uh, Hunt's mouthpiece that right came down. out. Let's go, Fox! That's why Hunt has a cut in his mouth, and he's keeping his mouth closed right now. He's got a little bleeding going on there because he got hit with an uppercut without that mouthpiece in. Overhand right. What's dangerous here is even though, even though Davis is wide open, he's not going to have to pay for it when Hunt is pulling back. And he's smart. He's catching Hunt as he's pulling straight back. If you pull back from a guy with wide, that throws wide punches, you're going to pull right into a punch. And Hunt does pull back, and Davis does throw wide punches. So look for Davis to catch him pulling back. Good uppercut inside by Hunt. Here it is. And Davis scored with that right hand. It's because Hunt pulled straight back. Davis has controlled his first round. This is a competing antiperspirant, and this is new brood with Trimax, which fights odor and wetness. Common side effects may include being hit on by models and possible increased sexual activity. For more information, ask your doctor or see our ad in Playboy. Want Santa's secret for coming up with great gift ideas year after year? It's Santa's pegboard sale at Ace. Unlike most cheerleaders, I follow the sports that I cheer for. And that's why I read Espen, the magazine. Espen, the magazine, is the magazine for sports nuts, like me. 
People think I live a pampered life, but I work hard to keep up my business. For example, I always manage to wake up first thing in the morning and catch that 11 a.m. sports center. Round two underway between Kelvin Davis in the white trunks and Marvin Hunt in the black and yellow trunks. This is a four round heavyweight bout. Hunt got rocked near the end of round number one. Davis carries himself a bit in that Mike Tyson fashion, Teddy. Well, he starts off with his hands up in that pick up mode and trying to slip punches, but then he goes to wide punches like that. And he can catch his man stepping out. See, that's, that's where his strength feeds into the weakness and the flaw of Hunt. Hunt will pull straight back, and the wide punches of Davis are going to catch, and they have twice tonight. Elmo Adolph asked Davis to hunt to step forward and he doesn't do it properly and Elmo stops it. Hey, I'd like to see uh, Kelvin Davis against Clifford ATN. It'd be exciting. Although ATN looks more developed, quite honestly, right now. A little bit more compact and obviously more experience, has more fights. So Kelvin Davis stops Marvin Hunt in round number two for the 28-year-old Hunt, the first loss of his career. And we'll take a look at it. Teddy, a straight right hand, got things going. Yeah, I think you're going to see it off of Hunt pulling straight back. When he pulls back, those wide punches can be successful. Right here, you can see Davis is winging. But when his man pulls back or stands straight up, one of those winging punches are going to land right there. Never pull back from a guy winging wide punches or long punches because you're going to pull right into it. You're better off staying in close, dipping inside those punches. See, if Hunt was dipping inside these shots, two things would happen. One, they would go over his shoulder, and two, he'd be able to punch inside. But when he pulls back, Davis is able to connect. And to Davis's credit, he kept punching, and he forced his man to pull back. But those punches, quite honestly, were a little sloppy, and with a better level opponent, he's going to have to correct that, or he's going to pay a price. So Kelvin Davis, the 21-year-old who turned pro in October of this year, gets a stoppage in round number two, 52 seconds of round number two. Antonio Diaz and Terrell Finger still to come, but first we send it back to Andre and Max. Bob, thank you very much. Well, when you have two undefeated fighters, it's one thing we know, the O must go. Actually, I'm more interested in the first heavyweight fight we had with, uh, with Etienne and Conway. Conway, of all these mid-level types, I wish everyone in boxing had the kind of heart that Conway showed. A fight that he wasn't going to win, kept fighting through it, didn't want the referee to stop it, even though he was cut and being really hurt to the body. And Etienne, in, in for his, you know, speaking well of Etienne, and he, he won the fight and he dominated, Etienne took what was given him. Conway was covering up to the head. Etienne, as Teddy pointed out, went to the body, did it properly, and I was just very impressed with the whole way that first heavyweight fight went and of course in our main event right now we got Antonio Diaz who is an explosive puncher at times all right well you know what we always want you to be ready for what's coming up a little later or tomorrow like our football action on ABC that's right folks Saturday 12 o'clock Pacific 1 o'clock Eastern time Georgia and Georgia Tech and then Arizona and Arizona State doing a little love out there in the Pac-10 that's college football regional coverage check your local listings to find out exactly what's going on and as Max said oh man oh man Antonio Diaz getting ready to strut his stuff on television you don't want to miss it stay right where you are this is Friday Night Fights Oh, it looks so beautiful.